Hi everyone, it's January 3rd, 2018. I'm going to be documenting what may be coming to you guys up in the Northeast. A storm greater than Sandy. Hope it doesn't happen when you have man controlling weather today. You don't know what you can expect. You have the fires out in California that have uh, destroyed homes of thousands and thousands of Californians. You've got the flooding that destroyed over a million homes in Houston and the surrounding areas. We've got these manufactured hurricanes. We've got manufactured fires. We've got manufactured weather. They are using this as a weapon of war. So for the East Coast, what are we going to get? We're going to get a bomb cyclone. And hopefully it won't. Hopefully it, it's just to create, I don't know, fear and hysteria. And in a lot of us along the East Coast, it doesn't create fear and hysteria in me. But I need to document a, a few things like patents, weather modification patents, and satellite images. But here, a massive bombogenesis. Have you ever heard of a bombogenesis? Well, I didn't hear about this until they brought it up the first time, which was when? I can't even remember. Was it sometime last year or maybe early fall? I don't know, but I did make a video, and I, why didn't I post it? Well, I don't know, but I saw that people were on it. Bombogenesis. Yes, a new term. Not NASA. NASA comes up with these... Uh, new names for new clouds, I don't know, new planets, new weather fronts, new everything. And, well, most of the people just don't even question anything. Oh, so a bombogenesis, an area of rapidly declining low pressure. It's going to wreak havoc on the northeast this week, threatening hurricane force winter wind gusts in a region already crippled by deadly cold. The bombogenesis will result in what's known as a bomb cyclone. All of this, all of this manufactured by man. This bomb cyclone, expected to strike Thursday, will likely dump 6 to 12 inches of snow in New England and hurl 40 to 60 mile per hour gusts of wind. Yes, Florida gets walloped with snow from Maine to Florida. Every East Coast state has at least one weather advisory, winter storm watch, winter storm warning, or blizzard warning. That's 1,500 miles of severe weather alerts. Is this, is this normal? No. Tallahassee, Florida. This guy said he's never seen snow in his 21 years there, but hey, it's snowing in Tallahassee. Temporary closures of Orlando water parks and authorities opened dozens of emergency shelters in Orlando and other areas of Florida. Now, the last time I looked, why don't we go there now? Come on, in telecast. Now, here we can see all of the geoengineering taking place right off the coast of Florida, right? Okay, and let's check out the weather in Florida, temperature plots. Here we go. So, what do we have? 44 degrees in Florida. You need emergency shelters for 44 degrees? in the 50s and 44 central Florida really you need emergency shelters something's wrong with this picture but look at all of the frequencies and look at all of the aerosol spraying to produce this bombogenesis coming up the east coast I'll also show you now I decided to make a shift in the direction of my video just to show you what is happening right here in South Carolina. Oh yeah, let's look at the radar. 
Ooh, I think I see ultra low frequencies. Oh, let's get rid of the satellite and just use radar. Here we go. Another manufactured storm. So these ultra low frequencies seem to be generated from North Carolina. And you can do the research yourself to find out exactly where it's coming from. Um, I don't care at this point. All I know is I am seeing yet another manufactured storm that people will suffer from. And as I get into the articles, you'll see that they sure are hyping this up. Um, but as you can see, it is absolutely generated. All of the signatures are right there. So you see all of the lines, the very defined lines. You can see it in the green precipitation very clearly. You can see it in the pink precipitation very clearly. Mother Nature does not create that. Frequencies create it. Look at this. Are you kidding me? A meteorologist on mainstream media can't see this? And they're, what, uh, thinking that that's natural? No, it is not natural. This is induced by frequencies. Creating this low pressure this low air pressure. Yes, weather used as a weapon. Look at how defined the lines are right up here. <laughs> Just south of Columbia. Look at the quick creation of snow. This is South Carolina. Got one, boom, it just covers the entire area. It fills in the entire area right there. Boom, really? That's how Mother Nature works? I don't think so. No, that's not how Mother Nature works. So it's snowing in Georgia, South Carolina. You know, it's, it's stunning, it's shocking, it's maddening that we can't get through to people that this is actually occurring. And since we can't, there's no way that we could possibly stop this. And more and more people will suffer the consequences of our fabulous war that is being ongoing now, that has been ongoing for quite a while. So this is film that I took last night. This is what was happening on the border of Arkansas and Oklahoma, ultra low frequencies taking place right here. And as you can see, this is another weather front or a, a weather event. All this snow in Oklahoma and Arkansas, right on down to Texas, really. And as you can see, the ultra low frequencies right there. No, Mother Nature does not operate in, you know, just squares and right angles. So this was manufactured last night. And I just asked a friend in Dallas, did you get any snow? She said, I've been so, so sick and it's cold and I, I haven't even been out. But um, the, the, it's so unbelievable because it's so obvious. It's so obvious that this is man-made. But it quickly develops right on down through um, Louisiana. Look at that. It just boom. Louisiana into Texas, the whole thing. And I, as I'm speaking, I have to tell you, the buzzing has taken on such a 
Oh boy, a really irritating high-pitched sound. Well, yeah, because they need the frequencies to produce all of this weather. Here we have snow in the Gulf, in the Gulf, like in, in, in the Gulf. Really? Wow, that's quite a storm. Rat smack in the Gulf. All of it manufactured. All of it manufactured. And here, they were working it last night in Florida. All of these uh, precipitation strands affected by frequencies. But these were the temperatures in Florida last night, really? All right, well, I guess you guys in Florida, mm, so many of you come from the Northeast. How come you're not able to deal with temperature that is in the 50s? Look at how nicely defined the geo geoengineering is. This was last night. Got to check out that fire in Georgia, by the way. Um, so, yeah, and I go through all of the geoengineering, and, you know, it's clear, it's obvious, it's right smack in your face. And then people will ask, well, why aren't the meteorologists talking about man controlling the weather? Well, because they get a paycheck. And, yeah, most Americans, they don't really live the principles that they speak. All right, well, let's get back here. Um, let me just close off that film. All right, so, yeah, the bombogenesis, man-made, manufactured, deliberate, and what's it going to bring? Well, <sighs> massive, deep freeze, South Carolina. In the Palmetto State, palm trees will likely be covered in ice and snow and could knock down power lines. Well, just a little bit of wind knocks down trees because the trees are dying here in South Carolina. They're too weakened to withstand just even a little bit of wind. In fact, they, well, I did post videos on Comfortable Winston World, limbs, huge, thick limbs falling off trees with no wind. No wind. That's how weakened the trees have become. But we already have 1,000 snow plows and salt trucks that are positioned in South Carolina because of this bomb cyclone. The crews are pre-treating roads and bridges ahead of the storm. And uh, in Georgia, or no, this is still South Carolina, or no, I'm sorry, Georgia. State of emergency for 28 coastal counties ahead of the storm. Deep freeze, five deaths were already reported in Wisconsin, four in Texas, one in North Dakota, one in Missouri. Texas, two homeless people died. Take away their tents, though. Don't give them any shelter. Let them just die on the streets. Hmm. All right, uh, Washington Post, a monster storm, a monster storm, a bomb cyclone to blast East Coast before the polar vortex uncorks tremendous cold late this wind. A monster storm will hammer coastal locations from Georgia to Maine with ice and snow. The exploding storm will in many ways resemble a winter hurricane battering Easternmost New England with potentially damaging winds, in addition to blinding snow, the bomb cyclone, because its pressure is predicted to fall so fast, an indicator of explosive threatening, the storm could rank as the most intense over the waters east of New England in decades at this time of year. And while blizzard conditions could pace some coastal areas, the most extreme conditions will remain well out over the ocean. Over the ocean. All right. Um, we'll have 
numbing cold in the South. Um, taking shape off the coast of Florida, Wednesday, unloading hazardous snow and ice in highly unusual locations, not accustomed to such weather. What people believe that this is uh, global warming. So this is this is obviously concerning. By the time the storm reaches the ocean waters east of Long Island and eastern New England on Thursday, it will be explosively intensifying. The storm's central pressure will have fallen 53 millibars in just 24 hours, an astonishing rate of intensification. What does this mean? They're projecting a minimum central air pressure of below 950 millibars. Nearly unheard of for this part of the world outside of a hurricane. Hurricane Sandy had a minimum central pressure of about 946 millibars when it made its left hook into New Jersey in 2012. This one, 950 millibars. So, if they don't, if they don't achieve success, you're lucky. If they do achieve success with this manufactured storm, well, they destroy people with fires out west. They flood Texas. They use flooding, they use fires. Northeast, during the winter, they'll use a winter storm. Temperatures are forecasted to be 20 to 40 degrees below normal. Well, yeah, homeless, what are they doing? Okay, um, guess what, sharks. Sharks are dying. Sharks, freezing to death. Sharks are freezing to death. Cape Cod, shot of bitter Arctic air, has brought record low temperatures and sub-zero wind chill. The Arctic front will continue at least through the end of the week, shattering cold records across North America in what meteorologists are calling an Arctic outbreak. We have sharks dying, freezing to death. What the hell is going on? What is going on? Well, this is what happens when you have man that can control, yeah, even the ocean's temperature. Niagara Falls, frozen. It's so cold, road salt is useless. It's so cold, Canada is colder than Mars. It's so cold, Chicago set a New Year's record. It's so cold, Boston broke a century old record. It's so cold, water freezes mid-air. You can watch that by clicking on the link below. It's so cold, bubbles shatter when they pop. It's so cold, a zoo had to bring the penguins inside. It's cold. But I will tell you, and I tried to, you know, I was responding to an email from a friend up in Maine, who, Maine, it was 10 degrees um, today, and I said, well, wow, it's kind of toasty for you, when they were looking at, what, um, 35 below zero? Well, um, Sorry, I just completely forgot what I was going to say. So the sharks are freezing to death. Oh, I know what I was going to say. The air doesn't feel quite right. Now, I guess when you are somebody who is kind of connected with nature, you can sense very minute changes. You can't really describe it, but the air here not necessarily today, yesterday, the day before, the air felt like a knife. It felt so sharp, like ice. Now, I'm from the north, so 
I know what it feels like, you know, to be 10 degrees. I know what it feels like to be 18 degrees. But I went out and it was like, well, I'm trying to think of, is it because I've lost weight and I'm thinner? Is it because, no, there was something sharp. Like the air felt like ice artificially created. So I'm not going to read all of these patents. I will link below, um, but I am going to read some of them. You know, here at patent wind generation, wind generated ocean water conversion and distribution unit for hurricane risk mitigation. God, if people would just do the research to find out how they can create or mitigate tornadoes, hurricanes, rain. Well, what is this patent? It's a sensor activated cooling unit which propels cold moisture into the ocean atmosphere in order to help prevent warm air conditions. And I'll just go, I'm just going to read what I highlighted. This weather management using space based power system, the weather element can be altered by changing a temperature of a section of a weather element, such as the eye of a hurricane, changing air flows, low pressures, high pressures, or changing a path of the weather element. Ocean temperature regulatory system and process to sequester anthropogenic carbon dioxide, creating a cold water barrier. This reducing the temperature at the surface of a body of water. These are all patents related to weather modification. Here, a method for controlling hurricanes, a method to raise temperature. If they can raise temperature, they can lower temperature. A method to promote precipitation from moisture bearing at atmospheric formations. They can steer the jet stream. They can create low, high pressures. They can move them around. Mitigation of rotating wind storms. Method for mitigating or preventing a major air disturbance adjacent to the Earth's surface. Move lower level air upwardly to cool surface of the Earth, including the sea. Water alteration structure and system a structure or structures for altering water surface temperature. They can literally control the flow of water in bodies of water. Marine water conversion, pumping ocean surface water several hundred feet below the surface to cause sufficient cooler water to rise to the surface. Sharks are freezing to death. Don't know if I had highlighted any more of these, but yes, there are an awful lot of weather modification patents out there. Method for influencing atmospheric formations. Snow making machines, fog making machines, artificial glaciation, hurricane and tornado control device. My God. Well, we can't seem to wake people up, so this is only going to continue, and I really, really hope to God that this Bombogenesis, this bomb cyclone, does not result in an awful lot of people on the East Coast having to suffer the consequences. System for facilitating cloud formation and cloud precipitation emit a beam to form charged particles within an atmospheric zone containing water vapor. They can dissipate cold air. They can dissipate it. Why aren't they then?
people are dying from the cold. They can channel dry air masses over large bodies of water by means of an artificial barrier built at an acute angle as to the incoming dry air mass. They can move water to lower depths in the water via wave-induced downwelling. They can weaken against dangerous natural processes that give rise to strong water flows. Concept and model for utilizing high frequency or radar or microwave producing or emitting devices to produce, effect, create, or induce lightning or light speed or visible to naked eye electromagnetic pulse or pulses, acoustic or ultrasonic shock waves or booms in the air, space, enclosed or upon any object or mass to be used solely or as part of a system, platform, or device, including weaponry and weather modification. Frequencies, microwave frequencies, energy weapons, an energy weapon, okay? They can use radar, microwaves, sound waves, high frequency sound waves to control the weather. That's why we have so many cell phone towers, Gwen towers, antennas all over. All over. You see they have put up antennas on power stations. You see the antennas up on uh, water towers. They can focus the frequency on the air surrounding the eye of a hurricane. It's a bizarre world that we're living in, a dangerous one, when we can't get through to people, when we have so, so much evidence that shows that these storms are manufactured by man, not natural. So if they're manufactured by man, that means man is using weather as a weapon and their fellow Americans, perhaps even they themselves, will be destroyed by these weather weapons, and they look at us like we're crazy. They can protect against natural temperature dependent dangerous phenomena connected with huge streams. If they can control the flow of water, they can control flooding, reduce the temperature, at the surface of a body of water. Sharks are freezing to death. Pump in fluid communication with the conduit for drawing water from the depth of the oceans. They have a device where they can uh, release oxygen, gas, or fluid advancement tanks or it's a device that includes a supply of oxygen gas or fluid advancement tanks, release or capture device, hoses, hose regulators, and a relay switch. The idea here is to equip all aircraft with this utility system of oxygen, gases, and or fluid advancement tank capabilities. As each aircraft flies to its intended destination, it helps the environment by feeding oxygen gases and or fluid advancements into the atmosphere to promote cleaner, clearer, better used atmospheric layers. Well, if they can, if they can release substances to make the air cleaner, they can release substances that are poisonous. apparatus and related methods for weather modification by electrical processes, microwave, electromagnetic. All you have to do is just provide this technology to the consumer and say, hey, you can, you can uh, access the internet 
And wow, we can give you really fast speed and that's all they care about. They don't care about what else they can do with these frequencies, like control the weather, reduce the temperature of ocean surface waters. generate ion flows into the atmosphere. Negative ions are so important for our overall, overall well-being. Negative ions so important to feel happy and, and well and well. They have so depleted the negative ions, saturated us with positive ions, which just break down our overall well-being. Apparatus for lowering water temperature of sea surface, lowering a water temperature of a sea surface. They can su suppress a rise of the sea surface temperature. A generation of a red tide or blue tide is prevented or reduced. Yes, they can control every natural process all those natural processes processes that <laughs> that we used to know but no longer do because everything's manipulated so I will link below sorry it was so long but these are just some of the patents in which they can create cold and they can create conditions for sharks that literally kill them.